just about to cross the uh, Canada border here. Heading to US for a short three day trip to visit my cousins there. Also do some shopping because uh, it's cheap there. Why am I doing this now? I'm getting bored of sitting in Toronto, man. Yeah, I just thought of taking a break. Having a road trip, I'm always excited for road trip. Started a bit late than usual because I locked myself out. It's back to the usual stuff. Whenever there's a trip planned or something, mornings are always hectic. Use the and right two lanes to bear right to merge onto I-190 South. I will do that soon. First I got locked out of my house, so I had to go to my landlord, get the spare key, so that added half an hour, and then went to downtown to pick up the car. If you're wondering what car I'm driving. Does it look familiar? Yes, it's a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah, I've been missing uh, the car so much. Feels familiar. But this is the latest version of the car. It has more features. Uh, it lacks few because I think this is a mid-spec model. Uh, in a familiar car, heading to a familiar destination. So Boston was a place where I did my first masters way back between 2007 and 2009. Feels good to go back there, but it's gonna be what? As you can see, almost seven hour drive. I've already covered like 120 kilometers. It's gonna be a long drive or 900 kilometers but the thing is the highways are so fast and boring that you have to maintain a speed of 100 kilometers per hour it might take almost with breaks and lunch almost 11 hours for 900 kilometers is not quite bad imagine hyderabad bangalore it would take us roughly the same time but we would do only 600 kilometers there there are no animals or people to come in between guys so it's boring but fast anyways i have to finish this checkpoint now typically if i'm going to a country like mexico or some other places i can just use my canadian permanent residency but to enter us i would still need a us visa and i have a us tourist visa till 2021 so i'm good to go but it's just that traffic i need to go through all that it's going to be at least half an hour before i can clear this i wanted to show you one thing Take a look at the efficiency that I'm getting on this car. That's like 5.1 liters per 100 kilometers or 20 kilometers per liter luffery. That's amazing fuel efficiency, guys. My bike usually gives that. <laughs> Crazy how efficient cars have become. Just done with the visa check-in at the uh, check post, guys. It took longer than usual, so first I had to drive through and then uh, the guy at the uh, counter asked me to park my car and he gave me a slip once I went in there. It was probably a 15 minute wait and basic cushions and I uh, had to pay like six bucks to get in and uh, and I'm in. I'm in US right now. That's how the procedure is if you're coming by car. If you're coming by bus to from Canada to US it's gonna take longer because there are so many people and that's pretty much it. The next stop would be maybe a coffee break. Current arrival is uh, Seven. It got pushed uh, by another 20 minutes, so I'm hoping to reach there by 6.30, so I have to make up some time. Uh, it's not like in India where you can drive fast here. The speed limits are fixed. Maybe you can go 10% more, but not more than that. Got to make up some time somehow, maybe uh, less brakes and uh, take it from there. Now I'm in the miles per hour area. Previously it was kilometers per hour, so 100 kilometers per hour was the speed limit. Now it's 65, so got to watch uh, uh, speed up there and make sure uh, I'm following miles per hour but take a look at the weather guys so we'll catch up guys uh, soon hope there's no crazy weather it's crazy the visibility is less than 200 feet and it's loud the speeds reduced by almost half from 110 to 65 70 can't see shit say hi to shiva andariki hi bite of weather i think a kundi oka onion bajji punugulu samosa yanni missing appa chai i'm missing all next those next exit lo untai chudu next exit lo coffee lo sandwich uh, burger mm. but mm. this scene is out of final destination full rain mm. I'm like another 570 kilometers from the destination Boston I'm shipping to Boston I don't know if you know that song but that's one hell of a song 
Let me show you quickly the features of this car and how different it is. It has lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring. So you see that yellow color highlight on the side mirror. You have these blind spots where you can't see the car that's coming. So that will warn you. These are features that are gonna come to India soon. And another feature this one has uh, that uh, we don't have in India is uh, uh, lane keep assist. You see that green color highlight on top of the tachometer, top right. So that will keep uh, blinking. Let's say I come slightly closer to the edge of the lane. Look at how the steering adjusts automatically if I am moving to the edge. That is crazy, right? That's the first time I'm uh, experiencing that feature in my life. Quite interesting. These are cool features to have in highways like these. Might not work in India because in India, we don't have a proper lane system. People don't follow the guidelines of the highways or the speed limits. So in that sense, not all features make sense for India, but definitely a cool thing to have. There are no ventilated seats here, but they have uh, heated seats because it can get cold quite cold in Canada. I'm just waiting for the next break. Uh, so in 95 kilometers or so, I might have to fuel up uh, the car. So that's when I would stop. I only stop for the uh, visa checkpoint, but besides that, I haven't stopped. Need to stretch my legs, have some lunch, and then maybe one more coffee stop before I reach my destination. Uh, anyway, so the car's on cruise mode, music on with the maps and uh, just waiting for the next stop right and every few miles you have these service areas where you can stop for coffee food pizza gas oh they call petrol fuel stations gas here so just uh, fyi hey guys just got done with lunch stopped at a service area had two slices of pizza and uh, got some coke uh, or some caffeine on the road next stop and the probably the only break I would have is for coffee and uh, yeah besides that I'm good to go ETA still stands around 7 30 ish so let's see if I can make it e locational e partalo. reached uh, the destination guys so it took me nine hour ten minutes I had one hour of breaks uh, so did almost 890 kilometers in 10 hours and that's an average of what 90 kilometers including break one hell of a drive long drive but finally reached Boston this is home away from home for me because this is where I first came outside India and uh, have special memories to this place and so I'm gonna meet my cousins, heading to watch a movie, Hobson Shaw. I heard not so great reviews about the movie, but uh, he already booked the tickets and on Tuesdays you get half the price ticket. Bit tired, but not, not so much. For 900 kilometers, this is probably one of the longest. That's it guys, so gonna catch up uh, later. I finished my uh, visit to Boston, so just was a one day stay, so couldn't meet my old friends there. So spent my time uh, with my cousin there, did some shopping, actually a lot, and now I'm on my way back to Toronto. Pretty much the same ride as it was on the way uh, to Boston, so nothing much to show. See you guys in a while, probably in Toronto. That truck reminds me of Final Destination, guys. <laughs> Crazy. Just came back from uh, the trip to US last night and uh, it was very late in the night around 11, 12, so just crashed. Some of the things I got, I don't know if I would use them here or in India. That's something that I would probably take a call in the next uh, one or two weeks. I probably saved 
at least uh, seven to ten thousand uh, by buying it in US instead of Canada or even in India. In India, it's as expensive as here with taxes and all. Let me quickly show you that. These costed uh, hundred dollars. These are tough to get or expensive to get in India, and. Uh, they give a free visor along with the helmet, a free pin lock visor, some stickers from Revzilla and now the helmet. This is a full carbon fiber helmet, Scorpio EXO ST1400. Let me quickly show you the design of the helmet. That matte carbon fiber finish looks amazing. Let me quickly show you how the helmet fits on my head. The only thing that I am slightly concerned about with this helmet is maybe uh, mounting a GoPro. So I have to mount my GoPro somewhere here. And the quick release system is not the most intuitive one. See this. It seems little flimsy, but the rest of the helmet is well built, guys. I've decided to move back to India and I think this is a good place to get a sense of Toronto.